Welcome back again tonight for our third eight-man try in a row. Man, I should just be done for the day. This is pretty brutal. Snap mode again. Yeah, we're keeping this. Two blue, a white source, and a divination. Yeah, seems fine. Let's just hope to not see a mountain. Oh, island. Okay, I like that. I never mind playing against Mono Blue Devotion. Seems like an okay, pretty easy matchup, in my opinion. To me. <clears throat> sure, attack me for a lot. Go ahead. I don't mind right now. Your deck doesn't have any reach. Yep. I take three points. Sure. Mutable, I hate that card. That's also why I didn't play my Temple Garden, or I didn't quicken earlier, because I really, really want to be able to quicken Verdict against this deck if I can. Which means I essentially need two blue and two white. Right now I have two blue, and now I have two white, so I can do it next turn if I need to. Which I probably will, depending on what he plays out. I can even get in a quicken eviction if I need to. Hmm, one, two, three, four, five, six. I got enough mana to do it. But I need green mana to fog. Yeah, I'm going to go for the quicken eviction. Um, one, two, three. I really don't want to pay two life here, but I kind of need to. I really need to be able to fog this next turn. So. Yeah, especially if you did that. Good quick and verdict here, which would be pretty busted. But I really, really want to get rid of the uh, Thassa. And if I don't draw a fog next turn, then I'll just quick and verdict this next turn instead. That way I don't just, you know, get blown out and start dying. I guess I should wait until he attacks, turns out sideways, so that way I can get extra value. I'll go ahead and play the maze now. One, two, three, four, five, six. See, I could take possibly five, six, seven. We'll see what he does, and then we'll go there from there to see if I quicken verdict. <clears throat> Now he's not attacking with everything, maybe he knows about the quick and verdict. So I could take 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Well, we'll see if he taps everything for it. Seven, eight, nine, ten, right? 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, that's 11 damage. And then I can't do my trick next turn. Well, I'm still not worried about it. Stack doesn't have a lot of reach.
Yeah, the only problem with me not quick inverting there is now he doesn't need to activate his mute vault. So, I don't know. Probably wasn't a play mistake, but I'm tired. Everyone can be mean to me later if you guys want to. I'll allow it. I deserve it. Well, I'm not gonna lie, I got lucky to draw that fog there. Make sure he taps it, that way he can get extra mana out of it. Be smart. There we go. <clears throat> go ahead and activate my maze now so I don't actually forget. Gonna get a Slizny Guildgate. I'm gonna have to urban evolution this next turn and uh, hopefully you hit a fog. Sure. Riot control seems good. It's a pretty good draw. So we'll definitely play the maze. We're not gonna play the Golgari Guildgate. Go in turn sooner if we don't. So this is an equal gain instead. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and two fogs. So we hope we should get there. I think I'm going to... Huh. Do I want to riot control or defend the hearth? i try to give him to play more guys so I can get these guys to be creatures and exile them. If that's the case, then I'm not going to be able to really merciless and defend the hearth next turn. So, definitely got a riot control here. Gain some life. Fog seems good, so we'll go and activate the maze. And we'll get a Gruel Gale Gate. Play the maze for the turn. One, two, three, four, five, seven. Oh, and we'll pass it back. <clears throat> we'll just defend the hearth right now in case he has counter magic in his main deck, which I don't think he does, or else he would have just done it last turn, but. They get in these situations, I like to just defend the hearth now. I guess it does give him an idea to use more mana to activate his mood vault, but if he does that, then you know he overextends his board more and we get more value out of evictions. Alright, let's double check to make sure we get it this turn. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Play gate number eight. Go get gate number nine. Which is a Rakdos. And then gate number 10. Make sure we actually leave a green man up in case we jack it up. For the Simic Guild Gate. Alright, turn 11. Not too bad. I hate sideboarding this matchup. It's so weird, especially if they bring in tons of counter spells. Whatnot. I just, I just don't like it. But I'm going to bring in four turn burns. 
I think I'm going to take out... See, he had a lot of gods, so I'm going to want the extra Merciless Eviction. This is a weird matchup where I don't like taking out my fogs, but you kind of do. I, I don't want to cut Urban Evolution, but I have Divination. I think Divination is quicker in this matchup. I don't think he'll ever really fall for another quick and verdict, but it seems good in the deck. Extra draw. Oh, cut the quickens. I'm gonna keep the quickens in. I'm gonna cut three fogs. I'm gonna cut three, defend the hearse. Or do I cut detention sphere? I guess cyclonic rifts, right? <laughs> 